today to introduce the recipient of the Clinical Neuroscience Training Award to Dr. Robert Weir. Uh, Dr. Weir, he's currently a combined neurology and psychiatry resident of the UT Southwestern uh, in Dallas. Uh, Dr. Weir demonstrates multiple attributes of excellence. Uh, we got multiple uh, uh, applicants for this award, and it was a very painstaking uh, task to choose between them. Um, uh, Jay Salpakar of the uh, membership committee and I uh, struggled with this decision, uh, but we are happy to give it to Dr. Weir. Uh, first, uh, Dr. Weir has an internal sense of call to action. Um, he responds to events and needs around him uh, with a very strong emotional drive and a clear sense of responsibility. He delayed his academic aspirations uh, after the tragedy of 9-11 to serve in the Marines, uh, where his leadership was then awarded with an ROTC scholarship upon his return to college. Um, when he found that his calling uh, was to be trained both in neurology and psychiatry. He took on the very daunting and enormous task uh, of designing a combined neurology and psychiatry program, followed through to get ABPN approval, and became the first resident of this program at UT Southwestern. Uh, one of his mentors wrote that his initial draft of this program was to, at the level of an experienced associate program director. He has incredible enthusiasm. His eternal wellspring of this enthusiasm affects everyone around him, inspires others to become excited about our field, and become hungry for more. This helped him to be a wonderful recruiter uh, for his own program, and a UT medical student recently joined this newly formed combined neurology and psychiatry residency program. He also possesses amazing leadership uh, and service uh, experiences and drive. He served on many different committees at his institution uh, for residents, uh, resident education, government affairs, uh, public affairs, hospital ethics, as well as the neurology and psychiatry combined residency task force, and many, many others. He co-organized the first ever uh, theater in psychiatry and LGBT symposia at his institution. When you look through his accomplishments, there are very, very many firsts associated with his vision and his actions. His research and awards uh, are also quite impressive. Um, his research and publications have included work on multiple genetic studies, looking at animal models of Alzheimer's disease and other neurodegenerative disorders, uh, neuromodulation and PTSD, neurotechnology has improved treatment modalities in mental health disorders, and chemoradiation treatment trials. He's shown the diligence and endurance to push multiple projects through from their inception to poster presentations and then on to multiple publications. He's had numerous awards uh, um, and I won't go through all of them right now, uh, but they highlight his clinical and research excellence and his promise of great things to come. And lastly, his involvement in AMPA. Dr. Weir has actively attended our annual meetings, was appointed to the Public Affairs Committee by Dr. David Silverswag. Uh, through his tireless efforts to educate medical students and residents about neuropsychiatry, his commitment to furthering the awareness and advancement of our field with his research and leadership, and by his infectious enthusiasm, it is clear that our mission is his mission. I think that Robert uh, continues to embody one of his favorite quotes by Ralph Waldo Emerson. Do not go where the path may lead. Go instead where there is no path and leave a trail. He has the rare trait of true integrity, where he's constructed a life that truly backs up the vision that he proclaims. And I think that if I was stranded on a desert island, or could only choose a few people to help propel AMPA in our field securely into the future, I would choose Robert to be amongst those chosen few. 
So I look forward to his ongoing involvement in AMPA and the larger neuroscience community. As it is with great pleasure that we honor his work and commitment with the Clinical Neuroscience Trainee Award of 2018. Come on up, Rob.